Welcome, everyone, to the Podcast to Radio tutorial, how to get your podcast on Internet radio in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. You might have already signed up via one of our affiliate partner pages or directly at live365.com forward slash podcast to radio. Either way, you should have received an activation welcome email from billing at live365.com. You'll want to make sure and have that welcome email handy and review your username password, which you'll need to activate the software. Let's get started. Open up Studio 365. If you haven't already downloaded the software, you can find it at live365.com forward slash software. This is a free download. This will bring you to the Mac version, since most of our audio producers are using Macs. But if you're on a PC, don't worry. In the upper right-hand corner, you can simply click on Windows Users Click here. Here, Studio 365 is open for the first time with this new account. You'll only see this information once and have to enter it just in the initial time of launching the software. Enter your station info as prompted. We're setting up an entrepreneurial podcast called Inspiring Innovations with Marin Barquette. Fill out your station information beginning with the name or show of your podcast. This will show up in the HTML5 player you'll receive upon completion of this tutorial and on our distribution network. Let's talk a little bit about our distribution network. When you set up a station with us, you'll be heard on iTunes radio directory, TuneIn, Roku, TiVo, Sonos, and some digital devices. So this is the opportunity for you to be heard beyond just iTunes, but through all these distribution opportunities. Let's go back to Studio 365. Next, we're going to fill in your website. If you don't have a website for your podcast, don't worry. You can put the direct link from your podcast iTunes page if you'd like or you can come back later and fill it in when you do have a site up and running. The description is really important. It's how you describe your podcast to someone who might have never heard it before. Drop lots of keywords so if someone is searching for something that might have to do with your topic, they'll find you. You'll see here we're dropping in inspiring innovations description and there's lots of name dropping, which is important for great tags. You'll also see choose your format. Go ahead and just keep that at the default. Next, we're going to talk about genres. Now, many of our distribution partners and outlets are music-based sites, and many of these genres are music-based, but you can use them to describe your podcast, too, and to see how people might find you through that same sort of genre listing. Like, for instance, if your podcast had something to do with New Age, you could put yourself under the New Age music genre. But for sure, you want to list your station under talk. That's the most important main genre. And after that, you have two more choices, genre two and genre three. We suggest choosing some of the subgenres under talk. Some of them include comedy, education, news, political or spoken word. Choose a few that work for you, and don't be afraid to list, again, a music genre that might work for what you're talking about on your podcast. You can always come back and change these later. And you'll also see the keyword section. Again, much like with the description, you'll want to enter in information that'll help people find you. For instance, with this entrepreneurial podcast, we're putting in the word entrepreneur, small business, names of popular interviews that the show has done, and any hot topics that you think will help listeners find you. Be sure and save your station information. Next, we're going to set up some playlists. Playlists are simply your episodes in rotation in a 24-hour stream. You'll see the Create New Playlist pop-up window. Name your playlist. We suggest using dates to identify the playlist, like August 2015 shows, or whatever makes sense for your content. It could be best interviews in 2015. You get the idea. Enter in the name of the playlist and choose a tag color if you like, and then make sure you click Save. You'll see you're prompted to create a playlist with underscores between words. We're calling this Shows August 2015 for our Inspiring Innovations podcast. You'll see that the playlist now shows up in the list on the far left of the window. 
you can click on it. Now you've activated it. You should have a red bar around the outside of the name. That's how you know it's active. Once inside the playlist box, click on Upload Add Tracks and choose the episodes that you have on your desktop. Just drag and drop them into the playlist. You'll see that as you drag and drop, the playlists simply load into the box. You'll wait until they're all uploaded before you save. Remember that unlike podcasting, internet radio is a much more lean back experience. And listeners tend to come and go throughout the day, listening in smaller bursts than they do on podcasts. So having four episodes in rotation will seem like a fresh station to about 99% of your internet radio listeners. So don't worry about uploading your entire archive. Just have fun with creating playlists and moving your content along. Once all of your episodes have uploaded, make sure that you click Save Playlist. Now we're going to get on air. Go ahead and click right here, the Off Air Start Rebroadcast red button in the left hand corner. Click Select and choose the playlist to be broadcast from the playlist drop down. Click Go On Air. That's it. You are officially an internet radio broadcaster and you'll be showing up via our distribution partners and your own player. Again, you'll want to go to live365.com and enter in your show name or station name and see that it comes up on the list. Now, don't worry if it doesn't show up right away. It does take a few minutes for it to generate on the network. Now, to get listed on the iTunes Internet Radio Directory, which is one of our distribution partners, you'll want to email us. Email iTunes at live365.com and we'll send you an application and make sure you get on that directory. Now you'll see here there's a station image missing. Let's go through how to add an image so that you can identify your station clearly. Go to live365.com and log in if you're not already. Then hit My Broadcast in the upper right navigation bar. You'll automatically be put on the broadcast station page, so you want to click on My Profile, which is one of the gray tabs along the top. Here you'll see all the information you already put in, and feel free to come back and edit it as you see fit. Now right below My Profile, you'll see the word Station Page. Click on Station Page and scroll down just a bit to see Upload New Photo. Make sure that you upload a photo that's appropriate, and you'll see the instructions on the right side. Once the image is uploaded, again, it'll take just a few minutes to format it and get it on the network. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this tutorial. And you can find more about all the broadcasting services and tools we have by going to our YouTube channel and search Live 365 Broadcasting. We thank you for watching Podcaster Radio, how to get your podcast on the internet in 10 minutes or less.